Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here. This is your Friday Reflection. I'm inside the church and it's in the afternoon on a Tuesday. That's commonly when I'm recording these. But I just, I'm thinking about, you know, as I was leaving the office, how bare the, the parking lot is. There's nobody in the parking lot. Now granted, that may be common at this hour, but it reminded me like during the day, there's almost nobody in the parking lot. Why? Well, because school is out, that's why. And for the kids, it is now summer, right? And actually, by the time you see this, it'll be officially summer. And, well, a lot of us go camping or take trips or do other things, get involved in extracurricular activities, extracurricular activities, or summer school. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you planning a trip? What's going on for you? Well, whatever it is, I want to encourage you with this one thought. Take God with you right? Take God with you. So it's not a vacation from your faith, but it may be a vacation from location, but not a vacation from your faith. Please, I encourage you, take your faith with you. So when you go somewhere, maybe stop into a church. In fact, I would even encourage you to consider making sure you pray while you're on your, your vacation, right? So you may have a prayer uh, routine at home and it's kind of disrupted because of the, because of your vacation. Try to make that still happen. So even if you're in a hotel room, spend that time that you normally do to pray and just, you know, you might have to wait before you head out or at the end of the day or whatever it might be. You know, it'd be even best as while you are on vacation to go to Mass. There's no greater prayer than that. And in fact, uh, there's daily Mass in all kinds of uh, places, you know, in cities. And if you're not sure if there is in your city, you can go to masstimes.org and that will help you find a mass nearby you for sure. And then you can go. Now, when you're actually traveling and you're uh, camping or you're in a hotel or wherever you're going, make a plan for Sundays or Saturday evening to make sure you go to, you know, the Sunday celebration, our holy day of obligation. And uh, I know for me, when I've traveled and I go to mass, it's kind of neat because while I'm in a foreign space, in a different place, uh, seeing different people, just recreating, enjoying, no work. Um, and I still go to church. It's like going home because Mass is Mass. It looks the same. There may be cultural differences, maybe language differences, but wherever you go, whether it be Rome or Portland or you know, Denver or New York, Florida, who knows where, it's the same. It's the same Mass. And so, please, I encourage you, wherever you go, make sure you go to Mass on the Holy Day of Obligation of Sunday or Saturday night, right? And that way, uh, I think you'll find that your, your uh, time on vacation will be even more enjoyable. Because remember, God is love, and He wants us to have a joy-filled life. And He's created all that there is, right? And whether you're camping or whatever, I'm sure there's going to be a town nearby, I hope, and you can go there, even if you have to step out for, you know, a 30-minute drive to that church and come back to the campsite or, so, or something of that nature, how much, again, better camping will be because you took God with you, and purposely so. We promised that, you know, as Catholic Christians, we would keep the Sabbath holy. Uh, as Jews would, they'd keep the Sabbath holy. That was Saturday. For Christians, Sunday is our day. So I just want to offer this thought as you kind of start making your plans. Uh, my plans, I have one big trip in the end of July to go to the Oregon Star Party. And of course, yeah, it may be easy for me because I can celebrate Mass on my own, but I can't just walk over there. Well, I can't walk over there at all, but I can't just go to the Star Party, which is in Central Oregon, and just say Mass for other people. I need to get permission. That's right. So I've actually uh, asked the Bishop of the Baker Diocese, that would be Bishop Liam Carey, and he's a good friend, if, and I've done this many years in a row, if when I'm there, I may be able to celebrate Mass in the field there at the Oregon Star, Star Party with those other Catholics that are present. And what I need to do, in my case, is quite involved, but I need to then have our Chancellor write a letter of good standing for me, asking for permission for a specific day to celebrate Mass at a specific place, and that's sent to the Diocese of Baker. The chancellor there gives that to the Bishop, and the Bishop approves it. Yeah, well, good thing you, when you go on vacations, you don't have to do that, right? You just have to find the church and go. So that's what's happening. And I, I'll, I'll be gone for about two weeks in that regard. The star party is about a week long. And then I have to kind of 
the dust off because it's in the it's dry camping it's dusty it's dirty a lot of red uh, clay uh, but wonderful dark skies at night and i'm looking forward to that so uh yeah that second week i will be uh, heading over to prineville reservoir and then that will allow me to clean myself up take jump into some water and right now the the, the reservoir is mostly full which is amazing which has not been for the longest time and i'm looking forward to it and we're getting really close to receiving uh, Father Anthony. And on July 1, that will be his start date, as well as Sarah Dumer, our new principal. God bless you all, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.